Enjoy the show. Drive on lug nut. And that is sadly how Captain America died. All of this I'll read. Just the title. So, you know, it's, uh, that's, that's just the way it goes. But we have to start this podcast. That's a downer. Welcome to Lug Nuts. This week, we have Aston Martin, Aston Martin, and Aston Martin. A BMW i3 electric vehicle, dirt cheap. GM and Honda, building a better future together. Electric Cadillac supercar, Toyota Talk, and C5 update and more. On this week's lug nuts. Yeah, I'm just kind of an apparition. Oh. I'm not really here. You wore a green shirt today, I see. Yeah. You see, normally this lasts longer because we rehearse. We didn't rehearse today. (laughs) Yeah, but... I would have added more. Here we go. Now I look like an earthly person and not a spatial being. So... We obviously want you to hop on over to pjnwh.com to where you're going to find the funniest moments from yesterday's Let's Play With Your Pajangers. Instead of Destroy All Humans, we switched lanes and hopped over to the brand new Marvel's Avengers. And even though in this picture it looks like Big Brother is scolding Thor... We had a lot of fun. We're going to keep going on that vein, and we're going to hop back into our Miss Marvel adventures. I can't believe you went with that shirt. I know. I, You know what? Fuck it. That's we do it a hilarious. lot. It is. <laughs> After every time I you know what? tell Next everybody week, else not to I'll do wear it. my green shirt. You know what? We should, we should trade off. They know it's me because they're Green Lantern, you know, symbol. But... Yeah, that's 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 how they know it's you. It's not the face. Yeah. Yep. No. But they will know it's me from the last Triforce podcast, Lethal Taser, Hold My Gaffics. That's when we went live at the Game and DVD Exchange, shaking off a lot of rust. Yeah, that's one way to put it. Ooh. But the first part where we talk about the best video games in the store mm-hmm. is fantastic. Classic. We have a top three that we go through the top of the case and we just systematically pick out our top three of the games. We'll have to... uh, I want you guys to go through and comment down what your top three would be. We'll have to plan to do that again in the future with uh, other games in the store. Absolutely. Because he gets new stuff every day. Oh yeah, all the time. I'm following him on Facebook and he's just showing me all these great games he gets in it. And if you really want Spider-Man 3... They sell them by the pound. Line. Yeah. Buy the pound. You buy anything? Very cheap. He'll throw in Spider-Man 3 on Blu-ray for free. Yeah, ask him. Guarantee just, just, you. Just tell him he sent you. Just say the secret word. And you know what it is? Perjangers. Yeah. Yeah. Just, that's the secret word for the game and DVD exchange. Perjangers. And you will get Spider-Man 3 on Blu-ray. Fantastic. Not just a plain DVD. Blu-ray. I right. hope. You what do have we have pinky first? up? What do we have first? First up, Aston Martin, uh, Vantage, D, uh, Vantage and DBS Super Lagra 007 editions. That is fantastic. And here we see the main draw for the whole thing. This is an option that you get in there. Uh, That's cool. Which is... Right so there. will that's everything you want. So will there actually be buttons for lasers? No, that's they're just, just gonna. That's just that's it. They're not gonna. They're not gonna put like little no. buttons. You can. No, no. You can get bullet holes. Okay. But in honor they'll of put the bullet upcoming holes in your film, car? no on, time put, to die. They'll put bullet holes in your car. Yeah, fake bullet holes. Okay. Because it's James Bond. You can even have a ski rack. But. In uh, honor of the No Time to Die, the British Motoring Company said, uh, we will be releasing around the world in November 2020 and will feature a few new, a few, no few more than four iconic Aston Martins in this film. 
Uh, such iconic as the DB5, the classic Aston Martin V8, and the brand's latest Super GT DBS Superlagra in the Valhalla. And that is uh, fantastic. It, also, at Aston will be rolling out two new 007 editions, the Vantage, which is inspired by the Aston Martin V8 Vantage, which has a lot of choice, inspired by the film series. And you, you see here, even the 007 stitched into the side. Oh my god, if you're a rich person with a 007 fetish, this is your car. If you fan, yeah. Let's hope it's a flop so regular people can get it. I mean, yeah, it's still no, right? Amazingly expensive. Oh, you get one, it's, like, it's been sitting on the lot yes, forever. Sir. It's got, like, fucking bird poop and tree sap on it. He's just trying to get it off the lot. You get it for a steal, and you're like, 007 edition! People don't, people don't treat these cars like that. No. But it has a lot of stylistic and choices mm -hmm. inspired by the film series, as in Ski Rack... Optional weapons, mods, and fake bullet holes. Yeah. And the second is the flagship, the DBS Superlagra, and only 25 will be produced. Each ceramic gray highlight, uh, highlighted by black carbon fiber roof, mirror caps, splitter, diffuser, and rear arrow blade. And uh, 21 inch wheels with black leather interior with the red accents and that's the other pictures that we have seen fix the, but uh, fix the camera you both us? there you go there we go hey we're back but <clears throat> I like those rims deliveries are expected first quarter 20 21. Yeah. So the 007s coming in 2021. You got the rest of their market coming in on, and here's a great uh, picture of the both that are going to be available. Uh, but a good pit, a good portion of what they have to offer coming in November. And that is fantastic. And very stylish cars. You know what else is stylish? This fantastic one-off mm. by Aston Martin. No way. We were just talking about them. I had to have this because this car looks looks like something else. Aston Martin's one seventy seven an eight hundred and twenty five horse horsepower car one off supercar called Victor. Carbon fiber body panels composed sixty percent more downforce at a hundred miles an hour. That's fucking fast. Oh, absolutely. <coughs> What's the engine? Like? Nice uh, <clears throat> look at the interior here. Uh, but a naturally aspirated 7.3 liter V12 by Cosworth produced a 825 horsepower and 605 foot pounds of torque and a Graziano six speed manual transmission, which you can see right here. Teal. Odd the, choice the for an interior. It looks fantastic. Odd choice I don't for a know color, about, but it works. I don't know about that wheel in like real life driving situations, like yeah. when you're turning. Yeah. It's really convenient. I mean, it's Having fine if you're like Knight Rider car. and he drives himself, so you don't really need to hold yeah. the wheel. But Still, I, the, the, I'm gonna look be, at those stabilizer bars. My God, work. that thing is gonna hug the road. Oh yeah, and <clears> yep. Aston Martin. Okay. And fantastic downforce at a nice miles an hour. Dual leather, you know, stitched hoop for some reason. A nice little bag for some reason. This is very British. Yes. This it's very, very British. Very. The name British. is derived from Victor oof, Victor Guana Glanet. Glanetta? Gauntlet. Who is Aston Martin's executive chairman? I'm an American. I can't say your name. I'm sorry. Victor yeah. Gauntlet. In the era of the DBS V8. Mm. Fantastic car as well. Yeah, lights up. And the 24 nice hour Le Mans race. race. That's a weird dash. But. Yeah, it's very Knight Rider looking. Yeah. Did it. <laughs> 
did it, did it. But did it's a one-off, so you probably don't have to worry about driving. You gotta worry about bees making a fucking nest right in your window. <laughs> Put that honeycomb. The fucking honeycomb. Us. Like, oh, this is perfect. <laughs> It's probably Look at gonna. This. They already made it for us. It's a one-off. It's probably just gonna sit in a museum. But like then Aston should be driven. Let's not be right. hasty. Free honey. Yes. But how much would you pay for one of those lights? Um, I would say maybe two point seven million on eBay. There's a picture. Like the next story picture. Yes. We'll have well, to look away from Aston to look. At the beauty of the light. Thought of that one. The Lord of Light? The light. No, there it is. Oh, the eBay. On eBay, you could own an Aston Martin light. Yeah. So, Aston Martin uh, Victor's headlights on eBay for $2.7 million. (laughs) Made by Whipac. Standard 7 inch diameter round headlight. And it's Two point seven. That's where it goes. Million dollars. Right there, right there. It's mm-hmm. a standard headlight. Two. You said point seven million dollars. Standard. Parts prices right. often, usually ponder customers' minds. Sometimes that is just astounding. Two point seven million dollars for a headlight on eBay. You know, I don't think eBay. I don't, I don't think I need an Aston Martin if that's a replacement headlight. How much is the factories? If that's an eBay light, what is it, five? Uh, it, well, it would be that much if it was from the Victor, like that photo in the last story. Yeah. If it was from that, then maybe. No. But, oh, my God, $2.7 million. Who has that to fix a headlight? I'll tell you what, who has something? Mm. Ford has something to prove with the all new old electric Mustang Dragster. Yes, this they is do. the Ford Mustang Cobra Jet 1400. <laughs> yeah, I agree. That is a very sexy car. Quarter mile in just 8.27 seconds at 168 miles per hour. Hit a peak 1,502 horsepower at the wheels. That is. Is astounding. At the wheels is very. I can't wait statistic. to see what they put in the car. Well, yeah, that alone. But the at the wheels. I will tell you is this. a very important part because you could say, "Oh, this is a thousand horsepower and lose a lot through the drivetrain." I I'll tell you this: it that. probably doesn't go a lot farther than a quarter mile. It's probably out of gas or electricity at that point. Well, they just have just like a little set that yeah. all in at once to just. It's just made for the quarter mile. But, you know, yeah. if you only have I to go you just a quarter mile to work, balls out. you could get there. Because you'd only want to put enough energy exactly. in for the best quarter mile time for just enough to get you there. Like, look, man, if I just had to go to, like, Pet Boys and back, yeah. you know, I and with this car, I would get to work in eight seconds with nobody no, in front of me. You wouldn't. Because there's turns, and they don't. They don't, they don't turn. It just, just goes straight. Look, if I had it on like the main street and I just had it parked there for some reason, I would get to work theoretically, theoretically in eight point two seven seconds. Great. That would be worth it alone. Would you like a really cheap BMW? I mean, who wouldn't? A BMW i three, for example. No, that's that story. We are going on to this story, which is... Hold on. <clears throat> but, like we alluded to in uh, the Let's Play with your Projangers, Marvel's Avengers Part 1 episode, there's a bit of a recall. Things wouldn't be catching fire, would they? They might. They might. Hyundai now says uh, re- they recall vehicles that should be parked outside. <laughs> so, how do you, how do you? Okay. Essentially, there is a break. N- no, tell them, tell them the best part. Tell them the best part. They've known for quite a while, haven't they? Well, yeah, they've known since 2018. 
Um, That's a long time not to be like, I mean, hey, sh- by the way, your car's randomly catching fire. Th- to their point, though, throughout U.S. and Canada, about 15 Hyundais and like eight Kias have actually set fires, and nobody's been killed. They've, it doesn't really so make say. me feel any better. I don't want my. I, I want to park my car and not have it catch fire. That's like yeah. number one. Can I reuse it? I can't reuse it if the car is on fire. Well, you do have a fair point there. You have a fair point. Um, but they are advising if you have, I believe it's the Santa Fe, Sorrentos, and the Kia Optimas. Uh, between Very popular models. 2013 uh, to 2015 to park it outside, call your dealer. Um, Everyone has those vehicles. They're everywhere. <laughs> I mean, it's, that's a it's, lot of cars. It's very Holy. possible that there's more in the line that they Ooh. know of, though, because insurance claims take a while. And if you're going off of that for a statistic, then you have to wait until the, the claim is filed and then somebody has to count it. So, fortunately, Korean cars. They may be more affected. There was 200,000 that they were notifying to park outside, but 600,000 were affected. And through uh, between since 2018, there were 6.5 million vehicles that have been cars. affected by fires. So, who call the dealer? That's yeah. the main thing. If you have a, a light on, call the dealer. Park it outside, just to be safe. Yeah, I know you bought a Hyundai because it was cheap. You thought it was reliable, but turns out it might make your family homeless. Yeah, and let's hope we can talk about BMW next. Wow, we just have a whole bunch of dark points on this, don't we? No, 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 no. BMW is, no, it should be BMW. No, it's not up. It's not on here. Just type in. Is that it? No. No. Leave it there. Just leave it there. BMW electric vehicle is being sold dirt cheap. By the government. The government is selling low mileage BMW i3 electric vehicle for between $1,500 and $1,800. Okay. Sold first shipped. Whoa. First sold, they sold the first shipment of 28 cars in just four days. BMW. Has a this car has a starting price of forty three hundred dollars. I'm gonna make Kelly naked, and now I'm just gonna. There we go. Now I at least have the Los Polos Hermanos. I don't, I don't feel quite so invisible. There we go. Oh, there you are! Wow. Yeah, I just appeared out of nowhere. Um, you know what just I'm appeared out of nowhere, I think? <laughs> a partnership between GM and Honda. <laughs> what a thought, right? I We're mean, just going to look at the car in this one. And... GM alone, they need something to help them. Yes, absolutely. This week, General Motors and Honda Company partnership that involves everything from technology, battery platforms, and engine sharing... Brazilian artist uh, Kleiber Sl- Salva, fantastic, created a rendering of the Chevy uh, Chevy Camaro fans cringe. Uh, hypothetical Civic SS, uh, styling from the Honda Civic onto a 6.2 liter V8 powered Bruiser. So this is mainly just. I for don't the think engine. it looks that bad. Um, no, I wouldn't say it looks bad. We can... I like it. Amend a bit. I mean, it's... It's it's got a... The, the front end is very distinct. I, it's like it a... It is. Uh, it's a very distinct front it end. It looks like I don't a think special... It's, but I don't think it's that far of a departure yeah. from the others. It's Yes, it does kind of have that Honda Civic and, you know... I love... You know what I love? I love Honda quality in a... GM vehicle, that'd be great. It, yeah, that'd be, that'd be fantastic. It looks like a you know Honda, what, I, Honda vet. You know, like the GM, the Chevy, a lot of them. I, I like the way they look. 
They they make they design a good looking car. They look good. They move well. I I mean I don't want to take it to the. I don't want to get it fixed. Yeah, no. I don't. I don't. I honestly don't mind that. I think that that looks pretty fucking cool. It looks like you just mixed a Honda Civic with a Vet, and if that's what you get from the partnership, so be it, man. That's good. Yeah, I you know I love a good partnership. It's a very classic Honda rim, which. I love that you've seen them on a whole bunch of different Honda models, but that kind of styling. It's a very Honda, like, Accord. I can see Chevy end. Corvette fans, being or Camaro fans, being very upset. Oh, vet fans will be upset with this, but, but I think Honda fans will be like, finally! Yeah, yeah no, that's... It's like getting your favorite anime in English dub. And yeah. you're like, I have been waiting for this! Just because you wanted to hear it and or see it in this rather in that styling, but that is fantastic. I would buy that. Yeah, that's great. That's what America needs right now. That is, is hope. Right there. That's you know hope. hope. You want hope? Right there. You know what? You know what's hopeful? The best-selling car in America, with Toyota. Next, Toyota talk. That's it. I can make the text a little bit smaller. Okay, yeah, well, we've got to read it here, so. <coughs> so here we uh, have the all, a review of what Toyota has coming for 2021. Up first, this is the Toyota Venza, limited the edition. Over. An Acura speak, that would be their RDX or their CRV. This is your crossover SUV that is, you know, pretty much just. Ugh, bad. Let's taking get, up the the, yeah, the reins of that, you want the sporty sedan feel with the actual there. feel of it. So, oh. uh, that's this is the Toyota Avalon, standard Android, Apple CarPlay, Alexa, all that, all-wheel drive, 19-inch black wheels. Okay. But they don't look black. Do you know any other color of wheel? Blue? Have you seen blue wheels? No. No? Gun metal. You but, like, the rubber part wheels. is always black, right? Well, black no. wheels? Wheels, the, in this, they're using wheels as rims. Oh, okay. Yeah. I got it. Toyota Camry with a front new grille design, vents, wheels, interior, getting up to 9-inch touchscreen. Mm, a little small. I don't know yeah. about the touch screen. How small was it before, though? You yeah, have like a little probably three five inch touch before. screen. I mean, you may be like, oh my God, I'm at nine inches. And now with hybrid. Yeah. Um, yeah, the hybrid trim. That's always the thing. You got a 2020 Corolla standard Android, uh, you know, connectivity with the Apple I'm surprised CarPlay, now Alexa. that if, if that's not listed as having in a yeah. car. Like, well, we're adding it now, but, like... Good point you know. to bring up, though, is that with... It's the, like announcing that now we have airbags. Well, oh, yeah, now you want to protect us. With the CarPlay, with the okay. Amazon, with the, you know, Android, make sure you have a factory cable that you're plugging into the car. If you use an aftermarket cable, it yeah. may affect the connectivity, yeah. certain features. You may, it may not work at all. Maybe it just charges it. Why? Because it's a fucking charging cable. Might be a little point that you want to remember. So that's one of the things that you have to keep in mind when you're looking at this mm -hmm. compatibility with your phone. It also depends on the phone. If you got a brand new phone, it might not work yet. Yep. Give them time. Might not. Yeah, they, they send stuff out before the software can yeah. handle a lot of crap. The car's software is the same. It's the manufacturer of said phone that needs to update that. So that's right. two little points that I wanted to point out there. But, but back to Toyota, Toyota Mira has an all-new redesigned fuel cell. Mm. It is lower, longer, wider than the first generation. Okay. Fantastic looking, I guess. If they had a picture, it would look. Rear-wheel drive on the target platform with a 30% increase in driving range. Once again, just trying to keep up with Tesla, though. Yep. You know, you're trying to make it the battery or fuel fuel cell at this point. You're trying to make it smaller so that we have more room for other components that you need to make it go longer. 
So giggity at that point as well. They're up. They're doing something with the Prius. Yeah. Okay, move on. Yeah, plug-in hybrid, all that jazz. They're the, doing something with the van. Uh, yeah. Four hundred two hundred and forty-three horsepower. Toyota Supra. That yes. I'm excited for. Three hundred and thirty-five horsepower. Three hundred and twenty. Two three hundred and twenty-eight. The Toyota Supra power boost from 335 horsepower to 328. That three liter dangerous. turbo, uh, yeah, three liter turbo six uh, limited run. The A uh, the A ninety one edition will uh, with exclusive colors, black wheels, and Adirondack leather interior with a new okay. 255 horsepower two liter turbo it's, four with eight speed automatic zero to 60 five seconds it's dried and cured skin yep let's just be honest as you get dried and cured skin on your interior so you feel like you killed something i guess i don't know but would you would you like help nah he's good okay when you call him out he just sits down they also um, have all new crossovers they yeah. have the crv which they're gonna chr have. what chr Oh, upgraded right. with a safety system. I so guess it's not the CRV. No, they don't they care d- about the CRV, do they? Mm-hmm. They didn't want to upgrade the safety system in the other in the old one. But you know what? Uh, this one that could be below. And I might with emergency that. braking, with pedestrian and cyclist detection, traffic sign recognition, uh, automatic high beams, and adaptive cruise control that can go down to a stop. And restart. If I'm going to trust someone with their uh, pedestrian auto braking, I think it's Toyota. Think There's Toyota's a lot of people in Japan, so they have to have that, you know, technology. It's that fairly, really it's them. becoming fairly common. Yeah, in cars everywhere. Yeah, they're updating the Rav Four, 302 horsepower, 2.5 liter engine, inline four. I like a nice inline four. Yeah, gives a nice flat, low profile to the hood there. Very sleek, very minimalistic with the front end, with like which like a lot one. of people are going with. You That's know? a nice looking. Uh, yeah, cross SUV. Bees will not SUV. make honey in those wheels. No. Yeah. Twenty twenty one. They have the Toyota Venza crossover. Yeah. Like a Lexus, but different. With the whole mm-hmm. pedestrian crossing thing, they're updating the Highlander. Everyone's getting the pedestrian crossing thing. Yeah. To stop and not kill people, Toyota it's a good doesn't look. want to kill people. It's a good look there, you know. Yeah. Not killing people, we're <laughs> all for that. <laughs> we are all for not killing. Yeah. Yes, we're also for the Toyota 4Runner standard LED headlights. Wow, and fog, and lights. fog lights. That I, I gotta like tell that. you, I didn't know I needed fog lights until I had a car with them. Yeah. It just illuminates the road at another level that the head, regular headlights don't. Yeah. 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 Especially. And it pisses everyone fog. else off when you drive around with them all the fucking time. Oh, I do that all the time. I love yeah, that. I know. And you follow me when we go places, and that's very annoying. <laughs> but back to Toyota, you have uh, not only the Forerunner, but you have the car interior illuminated like I'm in the studio, <laughs> like Night Casper shade. the Friendly Ghost driving around. <laughs> <laughs> They're updating the Toyota <laughs> Land Cruiser crossover. Yeah, and, I hate uh, that. I hate that. I hate that four door truck. I, hate I know you. It. Do. It's an SUV. I, I appreciate it. Look, man, if you need four people with you and a full bed. That is my caveat. It has to have a full bed, not the six foot little bitch bed. You gotta have a full fucking eight foot bed, and then you can have that, a four foot that, truck. That's a four foot bed. That is four freaking feet. I mean, it's maybe not like five, a, maybe. It's not like the fucking Toyota truck. Well, no, that is the Toyota truck. That or, is, uh, we're talking no, about well, nothing but no. Toyota. It was Honda Ridgeline. That's yes. what it was. The Honda Ridgeline has a really short bed. We're going to be talking um, about and that later. Chevy has a one that has a Avalanche. That and in the Tacoma, the they're adding 120 bed. out volt outlet in the bed. 16 nice. inch TRD off road wheels. Okay, Kevlar all terrain tires. That's fantastic. 18 inch black wheels, dark trim pieces. Black leather seats. I didn't know Kevlar made tires. 
Apparently, I didn't know that either. You know what? I, as long as the tire works, put whatever you want in there. I got no idea. You know Toyota, what? Maybe, last but not maybe least. it's a separate company because if you say Kevlar tires, I guarantee you some dumb fuck is going to take a, t- a he's going to buy that. And he's going to take a gun and he's going to shoot his tires and say they're not Kevlar. Thanks for pointing a hole in their sales strategy. I imagine it would be pre- that uh, preference is how by they plan f- on selling extra tires. It would probably start off with a Florida man, yeah, and then in Florida, shot his. If tires. you're a dealer in Florida and you sell those tires, tell them, yeah, don't shoot your freaking tires. Yeah, please. no, make sure you're specific. I mean, I don't mean to single you out, Florida. We love no. you. You're very much a different country. You're very bizarre. I don't. I think it's all the sun. Yeah. I think it gets to their heads, and they don't know what to do. You need some yeah. Yeah, nice Philadelphia winners to slap some sense into everyone. But they're also updating the tundra. I'm now bored of talking about Toyota. But so we'll go on to Mazda. Mazda CX-5 update for 2021. Mm-hmm. Now with a 10.25 high resolution widescreen infotainment screen with no touch but they're going back to the dial i love hearing about this because that because of no touch the touch it doesn't work in the sun so you can get it to work everything i've heard is you know not yeah great i guess if you lease it for like two years it probably won't be a problem i guess it depends on if you don't have a long way to go, leasing really is a great way to go. Yeah. If uh, I had one of those touch screens, I'd have to get something with that, uh, like one of those sunscreens. Yeah. Because otherwise, the thing's going to get cooked. Yeah. Maybe it comes with one. It should. You should have like a inspector gadget kind of like shade that goes around your car when you <laughs> That would be fun. <laughs> they have that in Japan. Yeah. So yeah, just they have, you just park it and locks yeah. the car. Up. Any trim with the 2.5 liter turbo engine, Mazda has added a new turbo. A brand new turbo with 19 inch black wheels, red leather seats, red switching. Mm. Fantastic. Red stitching on red leather seats just kind of it just it gets lost to me. You know, I'm I'm a fan of black leather or, or black dead skin with colored skin black dead animal leather we lost me there for a minute I'm like what the hell is he talking about like the black colored leather skin black leather interior or brown leather interior the red leather interior just it's a very specific red taste that likes that there's some TLs uh, or TLXs and stuff like that in the Acura line that use the red leather, but it, it can be good, nice like, if it's done well. Depends. Brown or black generally look better with the interior, especially with a red stitching. But red on red stitching, it just gets lost to me. Is I guess my overall point. Yeah. Okay, it was a roundabout way to get there, but I, I'm, I'm with you. Yeah. The Grand Touring package adds te- Bose ten speakers. Leather seats, which the other one, we were just talking about leather seats, weren't we? Power lift gate, power moon roof, auto dimming rear view mirror with home link, six way power passenger mm-hmm. seats, eight way power driver seats with lumbar and memory of foam arrive September. They all just have a great styling about them, you know. You keep seeing Ma- the same Mazdas on the road as you're driving. I got people no love Mazda. With. I've never had one, but I don't know. I'd buy one. I respect them going back to the dial. I like a nice dial. Yeah, I use the dial in real life. I know how a dial works. Do you know how a Cadillac works? Oh, I love this. Look, at, we have to. Yeah, get that. Yeah, go to the bigger image on this one. I, this is a concept. But I think it looks very. Um, oh, there we go. Cyberpunk, I'm gonna say. I think seventy seven. Oh yeah, it looks. The the real car is never gonna look like that. But oh no, can you imagine electric 
Cadillac supercar. AC motors and a battery pack instead of a gas guzzling big displaced V8 engine. So I'm not so sure about the fin. See the fin? It's got a fin. With a hole in the middle? Yeah. I don't I don't know about that's the only part of the car I don't know about. And I'm not specialized in aerodynamics, so I guess I really can't say to that, but the overall look to it kind of looks like minority report. And there's no doors. Yeah. It must be like one of those that lifts all the way up. Or it gets like I don't know, like maybe like uh, the nanotech that kinda like it fuses together and shit, you know? Like I don't think I don't think they're gonna you know, have there's always that sound effect, and then yeah, they gotta it just have the sound melts effect. together. Yeah, although good, good lord, help you with the fucking snow. Imagine yeah. having to fucking dump boiling water all over your car just you can. Get no, do it. not, do not do that. Do <laughs> don't pour boiling water on your car in the snow. The glass will crack. Not not instantly, the, no, on the paint. To get the body, you, not glass. That is a very good point. But only I don't on think the you body. Do it on the body either. That doesn't. No, sound it's right. metal. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. It's metal. It's fine. But right around, right around where your handle is, you just pour water, hot water, right on there. It'll melt the ice. Hot water. I don't know about boiling water. I don't know about that. Just not on the uh, not on the glass, but yeah, and it's tempered glass anyway. But. That is a very cold enough. A very small you're not gonna get like Shaquille O'Neal in that car. Make us bigger. Yeah, no well to, uh although it's a drawing, it could be it's to be scale. Look how long it could just be one big cab passenger compartment. The person is actually the size of the lug nut right there that oh, it that's it. So it's actually like a twenty foot car. So it's made for Shaq and not the rest of us. Okay, yes. that's why there's one. Yeah. But I hope he likes it. There can only be one. But there is not only one new Mercedes AMG. What the hell did you do? There we go. Right. Okie doke. The new Mercedes AMG S63E and S73E. Okay. Looks like a Mercedes. Yeah, completely. But, Two. you know, that's an actually kind of a nice back end there. A very no, it's, it's, it's a vehicle. nice, curvy, luxury car with two yeah. powertrains, S500, 4 Matic with 429 horsepower, and yeah. the S580, 4 Matic with 496 I feel like Raymond Reddington should be getting out of that car. Oh, yeah. But the V12 will no longer be offered to the regular S class. Mm. You gotta up your game if you want the V12. Well, I mean, that's fair enough. I expect that from Mercedes. Yeah. What do you expect from Volkswagen? A brand new ID4. Okay. Interior. Wow. This is their first electric crossover. I think it looks fantastic. Uh, it looks still like still looks Volkswagen, something. but it does look new. Yeah, new Volkswagen. Yeah. I think it looks great. Yeah, that's not bad. Touchscreen display, dials, and Intuit lighting strip. Touch displays with an. I copied that twice. Here, oh. edit that out. Yeah, but I like how. It does have the touchscreen, so like you're saying, you're still going to need the inspector gadget. I wouldn't need. Shield for yeah, the I wouldn't need the 30 different color ambient lights. I just stick with that light blue. That's fantastic. Oh yeah, but I like how you have the choice. You can, if you're choice in traffic nice. and you're listening to heavy metal, you can switch it to red with a bright pulsing flash. Maybe EDM, and you're on an acid trip or something. I don't know. You'd be a passenger. You should not. Hope, you shouldn't be driving when you're doing any of that. That's for the. When passengers. you're driving, you should be driving, not doing acid and having and don't a rave. Have the acid dispenser. Just drive. Option. Don't have the acid dispenser option. It's for the passengers. That's to help the passengers cope. With this how is you the drive. Timothy Leary edition. <laughs> 
has. It's very, very limited edition. Very limited edition. It'll also signal breaking prompts and incoming phone calls. Here you go. This is ID4 is the second electric vehicle based on the automaker's MEB platform. Yeah. It's the overall. It's a nice looking interior, and especially when you're looking at little little subtleties here, like you have the the windows, you have your cup holders up front, nice little storage compartment, very big touchscreen. And you have your aircon and everything separate. So it's very pleasing. And then I like how the blue can be changed to different colors. So that's very nice pleasing. I don't see a shifter. So it's got to be on the yeah. electronic interface. Yeah, which I, don't I was just going to gaze, you know, glaze over that fact. It'll be fine, because, I guess. You know, everything but you know what? Good. More cup holder room. Yeah. I like that. I can put my cell phone in one. Less shifter. I can put the hand More sanitizer cup in another. You know what, man? I want somebody to have uh, the balls to put three cup holders in the front there. Yeah. Or at least like a cell phone holder and then two cup holders. My car has four. Well, two are for the back. I use them. No one sits back there. I just got it. It's not how they intended it, though. But I just got it because my brother was selling them. You might know him. He's visible. Semi visible. With the Los Polos Hermanos. There we go. Now you can see me better. The next one down. Good lord, I have to find that one. Increase it somehow. But Nissan yes. is uh, bringing carbon fiber reinforced plastic to mainstream cars. So, uh, Wednesday, a new production process for carbon fiber reinforced plastic CFRP parts. Uh, cut a new part development by half. <laughs> oh, yeah, how about you read that line again? Cut a new part development by half, and the cycle for molding parts for uh, by about eighty percent compared to the conventional methods. Ooh, I'm gonna sneeze again. Possibly on okay. new models and including the Z sports cars, and they are. Aria. And the Alia, oh. Aria Electric Crossover. There you go. If they can, that is if they can sort their finances out. They're having a lot of financial No one electric issues. crossover. Aria? Ar- Aria? Aria? No, no one? We'll go with Aria, yes. Yeah. So no one electric crossovers uh, if they can sort out the finances. So no one okay. may be coming to your electric crossover market. No one's coming. Okay, will the uh, the no one electric vehicle probably uh, spelled differently because of copyright law? One below that. There you go. So, you had an idea. The Subaru. No. The one above that. Yeah. Really below. Okay. All right, but uh, Subaru is announcing pricing. They're going to increase their prices a little bit. That's what that story was. American dealers are going to see that in October. October 2020. Oh. So they're going to charge you more. Yeah. It's a but, sad fact, but that's just how it happens. But welcome to our segment. We and have this segment. We're going to start with mid-sized trucks. Yeah. We're going to go over all the cars and trucks Yeah, as long as it takes. Which will be forever, because they're always putting out new cars and new content. First, we're going to start with the Honda Ridgeline. The 2020 Honda Ridgeline. Uh, the n- next one, we're going to come back to this one a lot. This is the uh, Honda Ridgeline. Two and four wheel drive. Also all wheel drive. Let's go to the photos. 144 photos. There we go. It's a pretty, you know, normal looking truck. Four door, and I don't like it, but. This one didn't have a two door option. All the rest, I selected the two door option because I think it looks better, but they don't offer the two door option. Okay. 
According well, to Kelly Blue Book, <coughs> which is the site that I so use. So if you're reference. a two door truck lover, you're out of luck. B6. But if you don't care and you you know don't mind four doors, then this may be the truck for you. It is a V6 engine with a IV Tech 3.5 liter transmission. It is only automatic, nine speed, 19 city to 24 to 26 highway. Payload is 1,400 to about 1,500 pounds. Pros and cons are it has a cushiony ride with comfortable, supportive seating. Upscale cabin, lots of standard driver assistance features. Low towing, hauling ca capacity. Oh, that's not a good thing. No, that you made it sound very pleasant, but that is not. It has a, good a lower towing and hauling capacity. Woo! Lower than most rivals. Ah, we can tow. Less. You can't have a pet rock in the passenger <laughs> seat, but you can drive. Good job. And the infotainment system is very frustrating. <laughs> so, and not only that, it's got a high starting so price. So if you don't like your mother-in-law, this <coughs> might be the truck for her. Yes, according okay. to uh, USA News or wherever I got <laughs> this from. Low towing capacity. <laughs> like, oh my God, this is finally the truck for me. It has low towing capacity. What do we? Uh, oh, I didn't need to tow that much. Why do I need to pay that? Oh. <laughs> Why do we go back to that start screen to uh, look one down there at the next one on our list? So we have the, two the oh yeah. the Toyota the Toyota Tacoma. Tacoma Access Cab. They have the four door version, but I I like this. This looks like a pickup truck. Multiple colors. Eight. Wow, eight. that looks great. Oh, there should be photos. Bloody treasure. Four different styles ranging from 159 horsepower. Four cylinder engine to a 278 horsepower V6. 26K to 39. Towing capacity. Holy crap, compared to that other one. This is a truck. Yeah. 3,500 to 6,800 pounds. This yeah. is a big boy car. Yeah, and I could <laughs> tell you the truck. difference between the thirty five hundred and the the sixty eight. What uh, what was that? Sixty eight hundred is the sixty eight hundred tow hitch that you get has a cooler for your transmission, so that way you can keep the transmission fluid cool and you can tow that much. Cool, twenty to twenty three miles to the gallon. Pros and cons. That guy should not park that car there. No. That is not a safe place to park. He's, it's probably just for the shot. I understand that, you know, and it may be the last spot, but... Look, if you're rebels against America and fighting somewhere, yeah. you're probably going to want to pick up a new Tacoma. They don't call it that. What do they call it? Truck. Seen on CNN and everywhere. Toyota truck. It has a long list of pros and cons. Long list of standard features, user-friendly technology. It does have... Impressive interior quality. Well, you know, I mean, it's not a bad interior when you get into a Toyota. It just that was supposed yeah. to be a good thing. Yeah. No, I mean, excellent off-road ability. Pleasant, but it's like going to your grandmother's house. You know, it's like, well, it's not bad, but they say not it what has. You would pick. Yeah, they say it has a lackluster engine power, stiff ride, and tight headroom. Not for me. Well, it was made by very small Japanese people, so... Maybe that's why I like them so much. I like your engineering. For small people. Up next, we have the Chevy Colorado Crew Cab. Hello. There it is. Crew Cab. It's the lower one. Is there a two door? I clearly meant the two door one. I was gonna read the engine parts while you were there. So here's your. Oh no, that's not still not a two door. That's a four door. Yeah. 
Nothing but disappointment. But look at that, huh? Nice skin plate underneath. 200 horsepower, four cylinder, or a 308, v, 308 horsepower V6. Mm. Gets 20 to 30 miles to the gallon. That's not bad. See, I don't know what the hell more. happened to that front end. They forgot the bumper. Towing capacity of 3,500 to 7,000 pounds. That's a real tower. It's a stylist, uh, stylistic looking truck. You know, they tried with the not, front I'm end not, here. I'd like, I'd like them to put a bumper on it. A real bumper? Yes. Rear wheel drive and all wheel drive. You Pros can just get one of those cattle catcher front ends on that. See, there's that a two door version. That, See, know? they sell them. That's like a guy with no chin growing a beard. Yeah. We yeah. have chins. That's not where we grow the beards. But that's what we do. That's what that would be with like a cattle catcher front end. I grow the beard. That nice. It can't grow up here. Frame so on the front. It's red, too. Pros and cons are also a wonderful list. Powerful engines, good to Good towing capacity, intuitive infotainment system. You can fit a tire in the back. Yes. Comfortable ride. Could be roomier and more comfortable. So you just need to mix this one with the Toyota, and then you got a good truck. Lower end cabin materials, as opposed to the rivals, and terribly, predictably, reliably rated. Okay. Terribly predicted reliably. Sure. There's something wrong with that sentence. If we could cut it. Let's just move on to the next one. The Nissan Frontier King Cab. There we go. Yeah. 19 the Nissan miles Front per gallon, 310 horsepower. Absolutely. It goes from 200 horsepower for the four-cylinder engine up to 300 horsepower V6. It gets 18 to 24 miles to the gallon. It has, holy crap, a 6,720 pound towing capacity. That's a lot. Yeah. That's nice. Pros and cons are as a capable V6 engine, easy to drive with a smooth ride. Excellent predictive reliability rating. Yeah. I mean, it drives like a truck. I mean, you know, Nissans and Toyotas, you're you're getting a solid, reliable truck. It's going to drive right. It's going to feel right. It's going to do what you need it to do. But you're it also has, paying a premium for it. It has a outdated, noisy, outdated interior. They do have that bed extender. Yeah. It's nice. But it's nice, I guess. Noisy, outdated interior, woefully outmoded interior technology. I mean, Holy look at that. That's shit. very that helpful. Means. And then you have the tie-down spots right on the side there. You if, know, if, the if you need a truck for what a truck is, that's nice. It has no driver assistance features and a towing, lower towing and hauling capacity than rivals. Not really. Uh, they didn't see the rivals we did. Yeah, no, our rivals were this one, 68. The first one, like... It yeah, no. It, it can't even haul its own weight. Like, come on now. It's not a truck. Up next, we have the GMC Canyon Extended Cab. That's 19 miles per gallon. Woo! 300 max horsepower. It does have a 200 horsepower four cylinder engine or the 308 horsepower V6. Curb weight of about 3,900 pounds to 4,300 pounds. Mm -hmm. Payload capacity 14 to 1,500 pounds. Maybe payload, they should have some. 1,529 pounds? That. Is that right? That's really low. You made it, man. I don't know. That's really... I'm so... Like, the other one... Look at that thing. That should haul more than that. Yeah. It says it has the best towing in class. Okay. Clearly, my numbers are wrong. I must have missed a comma. Maybe the one was the seven. High-end cabinet, intuitive inter infotainment features. Yeah. I stumble on that word. Infotainment. Intuitive. Infotainment yeah. features. Yeah. 
It's pretty much high the car fuel play, efficiency. You know everything that you're gonna have with apps, you know, Available radio, reason. navi, everything, all the features. Miss crash test results, so don't crash it. You'll probably die. Or not. I assume what that's that means. It's a no, con. I mean, if they missed crash, you just test break results, your leg. They just in twenty didn't. places. And they just missed. So drive safe. If you're a safe driver, you'll be fine. And if you believe in all the other drivers on the road, just don't crash. And it also has few safety features. Yeah. The next one uh, is not yet out, but I figure it's odd and we could talk about the way it looks. Sure. It's very, ugly. It's a very bold choice. It's ugly. I don't know what. Oh, God, yeah. What the hell is going on with that? those lights? Where's the grill? How do you get It's less ugly than, like, I don't know, the Cybertruck. The Cybertruck is way uglier than that. Uh, it has uh, electric motor, single speed fixed gear, 400 yeah. mile driving range. It has uh, varying kilowatts from 105 kilowatts available up until 180 kilowatts, kilowatts for which grand. 105 oh. is 70 grand, 135 is 75 grand, which, you know, 30 kilowatts for, you know. But Five you have grand. to go with that's 180. Not that's like, actually probably your economy class right there. Like, you no, know, fuck that cheap shit. I'm going for the middle. But 180 is 80,500 estimate. The 135 kilowatt version will be the quickest of the yeah. three, believe it or not, with 754 horsepower. So, like I said, you're going to want to go with that middle. That's the one that's refined enough that you're getting a little bit more. Uh, Range, but you're getting that power that you need. Um, I'd be interested to see how that single speed fixed gear transmission, you know, how it sounds. The engineering yeah. seems fascinating, yeah. but I would never buy even if I had the money. Yeah, why would you why buy that? I mean, what are you saying about yourself? You want a truck, but you want to be economically friendly, and you've watched a lot of Blade Runner. All right, maybe if you. Post some Blade Runner shit on it. it might be fine then. The Blade Runner man. edition of the Rivia R1T oh, coming soon in 2025. It does look like a movie car. Yeah. We've done a futuristic movie. We got a futuristic yeah. car. I That's would like strong. to see one of those like broken down, like on the street in Night City in Cyberpunk 2077. Like, yeah. One of those you have like in a separate part in the wasteland area. You have a Cybertruck. That would just be fantastic. a couple of these concepts and shit like that is just forgot. Oh yeah, and abandoned. Maybe spray paint all over it and shit. You know, that'd be a nice touch that Absolutely. real automotive fans would get. Let's go back to the list and which one would you pick? So if I had to pick one, um, Let's see if we can. Yeah, so go to the one you think of. I think it's the one above that. We're in, uh, Honestly, it. I'm probably going to go with the either the Nissan Frontier King Cab or I'm going with the Tacoma. I knew you were going to pick the Tacoma. Yeah. The Tacoma is just a great truck. You know, the Ridgeline, that's go nice. You only have 180 horsepower. The Tacoma, uh, you know, with the Tacoma, you're going to be getting the full bed you're getting a, a solid Toyota truck, tried and true, and you know you, can't you know what one fun. they don't have here? They don't have the Ford Ranger. Can you type Ford Ranger? That's a small truck. Yeah, right. Ranger. Ranger. Standard cab. Go. Well, that's convenient. Sure. Fuck it. Just show me a Five picture. seats, two-wheel two drive, four-wheel drive. Oh, my God. Just show me a fucking picture. I do a lot of work to get to the fucking pictures. Jesus Christ. Fuck it. You're not going to see the rainbow. <laughs> you're not going to You're not gonna get it. Google it. I've looked it up. It's not a bad-looking little truck. There you the go. Price. So that's your, that's your goddamn truck. So uh, <laughs> I'd actually have to go. I'd probably have to go with the Toyota as well. It's a solid truck. I mean, yeah, you could get the max towing capacity from, you know, the GM, but you're, you know, when you're looking at a 
Tacoma, that's just this, any kind of Toyota truck, you're looking at really solid reliability. It has a nice towing capacity, yeah. equal to, it, it can tow pretty much anything, although in its class. I mean, 20 C, if you need to really, highway, it's still not going to bleed your pocket while you're trying to use it as a truck. If you need to tow more, you're probably going to have to tune in next week when we cover the next one, which is... Dump trucks! We're not, probably full-size trucks. Oh, we're not we're not yeah, going we're over tri-axles? Gonna, we're going to do full-size trucks next oh. week. We'll cover all the full-size trucks on Kelly, KBB.com and follow I mean, through on that other USA, whatever. What the hell was that other site? I thought you were going for dump trucks. We can cover dump trucks. You know what? We'll have a special <laughs> subscriber edition of dump yeah. trucks. Yeah. Since there's like yeah. four subscribers, yeah. email us. I'll send it to you. Yeah. Personally. First, personal from the PJ. Video. From our website, which is pjandwh.com. Absolutely. You can go Where there. I would us. like you to contact us and tell us which pickup truck small or mid-sized pickup truck you love best and why why do you love your pickup if you love it i can love it too i'd love to hear about it absolutely go ahead and contact the team find us on social media facebook youtube instagram and twitter and uh we got a lot of things coming up maybe some more live appearances coming maybe me not being so transparent once i do my laundry and uh you know we uh we gather here every week, every Sunday for Love you know Nest. We gather every Maybe Saturday. that's going to be our thing. I'll wear yeah. a green shirt. We won't have to go to the big screen because you yeah. just see right through us. You just put the story on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you. the story. Just look through my torso, and that's what it looks like. Yeah. I'll you got to get a magnifier. A little bit. There you go. Brilliant ideas right here from Love Nest. Yeah. Let us know your brilliant ideas. Contact the team. And it, I got to tell you, it doesn't matter if you drive a you know, Ford Ranger or... A Tesla. Nothing rolls without lug nuts. We'll see you next week, gang. Drive on! Bye-bye. So, will there actually be buttons for lasers? No, that's just, just gonna, that's just, that's it. They're not going to put, like, little buttons you can... Uh, you can get bullet holes. Okay. I don't want my... I, I want to park my car and not have it catch fire. That's, like, yeah. number one. Can I reuse it? I can't reuse it if the car is on fire. Well, you do have a fair point there. We'll see you next week, gang. Drive on! Play on my tangas. That was a good segue. Our Island Kelly. <sighs> Lion face. <sighs> Lemon face. <laughs> Jane Silent Bob's right back. Okay. Lugnuts! Come on! Welcome to the end segment. Um, I'm invisible, just like from uh, yesterday's Let's Play With Your Bajangers, Marvel's uh, Avengers. I'm invisible. Oh, you're and invisible? Uh, Big Brother is sitting right next to me. Yes. I was getting lug nuts all set up, but unfortunately, I glitched. Drive on lug nuts. Who are you talking to? I can't believe I forgot the Ranger. Yeah. It's probably a small truck, but it's there. It's you know, yeah. sometimes it's, it's in the all, same thing as the Nissan. It's in all of our hearts. Yeah, I think it's because it's the same man. Because Nissan and Ford would manufacture things. They did the yeah. the minivan. What was the minivan we had? It was it was a Ford. There was also a Nissan Quest. I forget the name of that it. Mom um, had. Yeah. The, yeah, and. Uh, um, I want to say Astro the, Van? That's yeah, I think the Ford and the Ford Astro. Because yeah. when you go and look at the book, no. the interior. Because if you get the uh, the book on how to repair them, generally they're they've been the same in the past. The past Bye, gang. Models. Hey, thanks for watching this far. You're dedicated. Oh, hey. I'm the Black Lantern. Okay. Hi. <laughs> I'm Steve. I'm your brother. Ah, hi. Okay, Black Lantern. If we're gonna be lanterns have parts. rings, but you know, COVID and everything, they couldn't dispense it. So that's the way it is. But I have Iron Kelly here to assist me. Haha. Uh-huh. But what's that? Oh, 
Iron Kelly said he wants you to hit right here to subscribe. Did he? He, he also said what? Okay, above my head is every single Lug Nuts episode in a playlist, and then above his head is the very best Purge Hangers and Wall Hangers video for you. That's just the way we do it. And drive on. <laughs>